There's a very beautiful story from the life of the Prophet وسلم, about Salman al-Farsi radiallahu anhu. Salman al-Farsi, as his name says, Salman al-Farsi, he was Persian. And of course, the majority of the Sahaba were Arab. So he was an outsider. He was a foreigner. He was an immigrant. He might have been looked at by many of the young people of that time, in that place, in that era. Of course, the Sahaba weren't like this, but maybe just the common people in the Arab lands. When they first came across Salman, Salman to them was kind of like a fob. That's what they saw him as. He was an outsider, an older outsider, who didn't speak the language properly, who didn't really know the style and the customs and the fashion. So he was easy to make fun of, because he was an outsider. Of course, he accepts Islam and the Battle of Khandaq, the Battle of the Trench is taking place. And in the Battle of the Trench, they had to dig a long trench uh, on one side of Medina to basically protect the city of Medina from the onslaught and the oncoming armies. It's also actually called Ghaswat al-Ahzab, the, the Battle of the United Armies. And so they decided to dig a trench, and it was actually his suggestion. So even though he was the outsider, the fob, the immigrant, whatever else somebody would call an outsider, he gave the suggestion of building a trench, and the Arabs were not in the habit of building a trench. Nevertheless, nobody derided him, nobody degraded him, nobody said, get out of here with your crazy talk, and we don't even know what you're talking about, and that's not how we roll over here. Nobody said anything like that to him. The Prophet ﷺ listened to him, everyone accepted his recommendation. The Prophet ﷺ, in fact, made the decision according to his suggestion, and they decided to dig the trench. Now when they were digging the trench, the Prophet ﷺ, basically for every 40 meters, he made groups of 10 Sahaba to dig the trench in that area. And he organized the groups according to families, simply because, you know, I know my brother better than anyone else does, and my brother knows me better than anyone else does. And at the Battle of the Trench, they were hungry, they were cold, they were starving, they were suffering, they were scared. It was a very difficult time. And so when people are under pressure, they can crack, or they can kind of be a little bit difficult to deal with at times under pressure. So the Prophet put them with other people who they were familiar with so that they would know one another. So he split up all the groups. Now the issue came to Salman. What group does Salman belong in? the Muhajirun and the Ansar, the immigrants to Medina and the locals of Medina, they started arguing with each other. And the Muhajirun were saying, Salmanu minna al-Muhajirun. Salman will be, is from amongst us, Muhajirun. Why? Because he wasn't born in Medina. He emigrated to Medina looking for Islam. The Ansar said, Salmanu minna al-Ansar. Salman is from amongst us, the Ansar. Because he came to Medina before the Prophet ﷺ arrived in Medina, so he was already here when the Prophet ﷺ came, so he technically qualifies as an Ansari. Look at that, subhanAllah. They're fighting that no Salman's with us, they're saying no Salman's with us. Today we would have the opposite fight. You take the foreigner, you take the foreigner. But they're fighting, no, he's with us. And the Sahaba radiallahu anhum had a lot of etiquette when dealing with the Prophet ﷺ. They wouldn't bring small little petty matters before the Prophet ﷺ because they were taught some etiquette. But this matter became so severe between them that they eventually had to bring the matter before the Prophet ﷺ. And they said, O Messenger of Allah, Salman should be with us, the Muhajirun. They said, no, Salman should be with us, the Ansar. The Prophet ﷺ's decision was that Salman minna al al-bayt. Salman will not dig with the Muhajirun. Salman will not dig with the Ansar. Salman will dig with my family because he belongs to my family. That's the attitude the Prophet ﷺ taught us.